As we know, the YouTube studio is a work in progress and YouTube has once again made some significant changes to YouTube studio. In this video, we're going to take a look at customization. This is a new menu item that appeared in YouTube studio. I know for other channels it appeared before I saw it. So if you're not seeing it yet, stay tuned. It's coming to a channel near you in the near future. All right, let's jump in and take a look at this section, see what they've added, see what they've moved around. Make sure that you know exactly where to go if you need to make a change or find helpful information on YouTube Studio. All right, so we're here in YouTube Studio. You'll notice over here in your menu section, there is an option below monetization that says customization. Now, again, you may or may not see this section, but uh, if you do, we're going to take a look and show you exactly what it entails. Now, what they've basically done is reorganize some things. You can see uh, how they're going to change some features. They've removed some features and they've really streamlined and made everything a lot easier to be able to find and edit here on your YouTube channel. So the first First thing that we take a look at here across the top we have channel customization and you'll see that there are three tabs now these three tabs contain information that was scattered around YouTube and they've kind of centralized it. We're going to go through and show you exactly what all of this is. So at the very top in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that they've provided you a convenient link to your channel. We're going to look at the layout tab first and you'll see that it is now showing you the two videos that are presented on your channel. Now, previously you used to have to click on customize channel on your actual YouTube page and then decide whether or not you were viewing it as a subscriber uh, or a new viewer and then select a trailer or corresponding video. But you see now you can click on the three dots and either remove the, the option altogether or you can go in and actually change the video and select a video uh, that you would like to share with that particular segment of your audience. Now we also see another customization feature that you used to do right on your main channel page and that is the organization of the sections that actually display for people when they come to your channel. You can see I do horizontal playlists and they're all organized here. You have the option to grab onto this uh, little double line here and reorganize them, move things around the way you would like them to be seen. You also have the option to add a section. Now that full menu that would appear out there on your homepage is now presented here on the back end in YouTube Studio. Next, we want to click on branding. We've also moved these from a section that you used to drill into. You used to have to click customization on your channel and that would provide a little photo icon over your channel art. You'd click that that, and then you would drill in and be able to change your actual banner. Well, you can see here now we have profile picture and banner image. The profile picture is a great addition because it used to, if you tried to change your profile picture, it would send you out to a Google page. Uh, I believe that used to be associated with Google Plus, uh, and you kind of had to jump around to change this. Now everything is streamlined and presented here. Uh, in YouTube Studio. And they've also taken the video watermark option, which you used to have to go into settings and branding to find and placed it here on this branding tab as well. So if you haven't seen my video on this subscribe button to put as your watermark, definitely check it out. I'll put a link at the top of the screen now that allows you to download this particular image to use copyright free on your video so people can hover over the subscribe button and click and join your channel right within the video itself. Next, we wanna move over to the basic info. Now here we have channel description. Uh, this was also a section you would find by clicking on customization and going into the about section of your YouTube channel and then make changes there. The links are also something that would appear there. And then you have options, links on banner. Uh, let's see what our options here, anything new. First link, second link. So this is good because you it used to be that if you added links in your description, then they would all appear uh, as icons on your channel banner in the upper right hand corner. What they've done now is allow you to say, okay, we're going to add all of these different links that people may want to find in your about section, but we can limit to only showing the first link out on your channel banner, which I think is a great addition as well. And then we have your contact info 
uh, to round out this collection of features that they have now streamlined into this customization tab. Now, some of these features are still redundant. You can find them uh, in here in certain sections. It's constantly changing. So I just want to see channel branding is still there. So you still have two different places you can get to your watermark, uh, but they have certainly started working on moving all this to the back end. Now, just to show you exactly what where you used to go to do all these things on your main channel page, it used to be if you clicked customize channel right here that it would kind of change to the old view of uh, uh, of your YouTube video. And then you could go up here and click here, which it's still available. You still have that link. We'll see if it now redirects you. Now they've redirected you into here, which is great. So they're starting to update all the places in which you access all this information, getting everything uh, driven to this single place and really organizing stuff a lot better than it was in the past. And hey, if you happen to be new to the channel here on Creator Fundamentals, I share videos about the success mindset, motivation, and YouTube tips. So consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon if you'd like to create your freedom by growing a successful YouTube channel. Don't let the learning stop here. I'll put a link to a YouTube feature tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Oh wait, don't forget the round button below me. Click it. That's the subscribe button. Click the bell. See you guys next time.